Okay, this would be the latest thing that's what we've been doing at Kuchman Performance Parts this winter, is trying to get this rear axle and front axle brake, hydraulic disc brake assembly going. To have something better than we've had before, we've got the easiest rolling hub out there. We're back to roller bearings, same bearing that was in your Kuchman originally. Now we have made all new axles. We've changed the axle just a bit. Uh, but that's that's basically the thing. And then back here, this is like we just talked telling you on the other other movie. This is your front. Your rotor will go on this side here. Your caliper will go on this side. And then we're gonna. This will be for your a brake or a speed not brake speedometer on a Cushman. If you have a regular Cushman speedometer, that's where your gear will, will press right on here. And if not, you're using an electronic pickup, you use these holes right here and one in here to, to zip tie your pickup on the inside of that. And then put your pickup in the rotor bolt, uh, the magnet in the head of the rotor bolt. This would be the rear end. As we get done, your sprocket on the right, just as it is, it's set up exactly the same distance as it was on a Cushman. So there's no measure, there's no shimmer. You just slide it to frame. And if, you, if you're not right, you're going to have to move your front jack shaft on. Pretty much. Uh, your wheel goes on now with bolts instead of nuts. This is your rotor collar. And your rotor will bolt onto the inside of this. And you have to pull this collar off when you put your wheel on, which is not a real problem. It's got a 3 8 12 point here. Loosen that up, pack it with a screwdriver right there, and you slide it off by hand. So it's not a, not a biggie. Uh, that pretty much takes care of where we're at on this thing. Uh, any questions you have, well, you're welcome to call me if you have a question. Uh, this will be your new uh, caliper. Your hose, your master cylinder will all be in the kit with it. So we're pretty much, uh, I think we pretty much got you covered, you know. Pick up the order bike and give us an order and uh, we'll send you enough stuff to build them. This little piece here is our rotor, our anchor for our rear. It slides right in the caliper bracket and bolts in the the uh, anchor slot on the side of your frame. And this will go into the anchor slot, your nut, your bolt, washer, lock washer, and it will go all the way through this piece. So you can center that just off of the back when your axle's all the way forward. And from there you can adjust your chain without ever having to release a brake lock, uh, brake anchor lock. The caliper, bracket, and then the stop fork here which allows us to just pull this back and drop it out. And we'll take a few minutes here and at a side and set this up and then we'll drop it back in for you. Next thing we'll slip our wheel on. I'll stem out. We have a choice of sprockets on this thing, whether you want to run a 60 tooth or a 52. We recommend you run a 52 and drop your front sprocket down to 17, 18. Just to help you uh, be able to reach in and clean up your wheel between rides. Everybody's got his own thought about that. See how much space you got to get in here and clean up. You have a 52 tooth on. Now our next little episode is the rotor.
Try to roll her collar off. I'm going to take a minute. Set the bearing. We're going to go one flat off of tight. Then we'll lock the jam nut down on it. Should be good for the next 20 years. Now this is our caliber bracket. This piece is going to be facing forward for us. And it's going to thread right onto the three quarter shaft. We're going to throw a jam nut on here. We'd like to get that jam nut ready right about where it's uh, square with that flange. It should come out just right. Now, that being said, if we do not center our caliper on the rotor, and you can see that that thing is almost perfectly centered with that caliper. So it should be just right when it goes in there. Our caliper's hanging on the hose on the other end because we're going to bleed it before we put the wheel on. Now we'll set this one in. Move this anchor ahead. I guess it wasn't done. So when we're all the way down, we're not quite the bottom of the floor. In front. And that's us. Leave the brake, you can slide it back in and drop it right back in here. And drop the caliper in. So if you go to change the wheel, just take the two bolts out of the Brake caliper, set it out of your way. Hanging on the outside of the frame. That's pretty much us for the back. Okay. This hub's back on Timken bearings just like it was, I told you earlier, over here. You have adjustment nut over here for your fork width tension. And when you come back over here, this plate right here, it says in here, holds our caliper. And the only parts you got for that is one long bushing in here, one short bushing out there, and the caliper bracket between it. There's no conflict on what you're gonna do here. These little two ties right here are for using an electronic speedometer. And this is your electronic magnetic pickup. And what we did to it is drilled the top out of a, one of our studs and put the pickup magnet in it in that stud right there and uh, so if you use electronic you're on that side the two holes are already there you're on this side to put your gear on for a cushion speedometer so, uh, and uh, your hoses come with the kit your master cylinders come with the kit we hope you don't have to go to hardware